Hey everyone, Happy Dude here, and it's brought to my attention that the new Samsung TVs also have some troubles with black screen flickering. Now, if you're watching a movie, it's very annoying, but if you're playing a game, it's downright frustrating. No, 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 no! Fuck! So, I'm making another video because many summers and winters have passed uh, since I've posted that video. And believe it or not, I still have the same TV, that is the Samsung 8000 series. The only thing that has changed is I have a PlayStation 5 now instead of a PlayStation 4. So now I know that a lot of Samsung TVs have this problem, including the new ones. So what you do first is go to settings, then go to support, software update, and check for updates. Now Samsung is not a company that um, does a lot of updates for their TVs. So that's unfortunate. Um, no new updates for me. But maybe you have an update, so install it, then turn off the console and your TV, wait 5 minutes, put everything back on and check if the problem is fixed. Now I have to admit that Samsung TVs are really great for viewing movies, but they're not so great uh, for consoles and gaming. Um, I think you're better off with an LG or a Sony, since PlayStation is also Sony, you have less chance that uh, the hardware and the software are going into a conflict with each other. Now, in the old video, I told you to go to settings in your console. Um, it was on a PlayStation 4 back then. I have a PlayStation 5 now, but it doesn't really matter. Then go to screen and video. Then choose video. And I believe I told you to go to RGB. And normally it's on automatic and you can change it to limited or uh, complete. I think the settings are a bit different on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, and for some of you it fixed the problem but for some of you it didn't do anything or it fixed the problem but not completely, you still had uh, some black screen flickering sometimes. Now, if it doesn't do anything for you, just leave everything to automatic. Now, I completely forgot that I made that video because the problem was fixed for me. Um, and I think it was because of uh, updating the console and also the TV, but I did another thing and I never told you guys because like I said, I forgot that I made that video, but I'm going to show it to you right now. So what I did was I bought another cable. So maybe this was the solution or it was the updates of the TV or the console. I don't know, but I think it's better to buy uh, a new cable than another TV. <laughs> um, because you see, the cable that you get with your TV is from very poor quality sometimes. Uh, even the one uh, with the PlayStation itself. Um, because I didn't had black screens only with my 
uh, PlayStation. It was also with my 4K player. So I really don't know. It could be the updates. It could be the cable. You can always always give it a try. Uh, even if you buy a HDMI cable that is with 4K and 60 Hertz and HDR and everything else um, it can still be that it doesn't really support all of that uh, I saw a video of that with Linus Tech Tips and he did some testing with a lot of cables and surprise the cheaper cables were not up to spec so we're gonna get a bit technical here but it's important that you know this information so you can buy the right cable the oldest hdmi cables are 1.0 and 1.2 these can only go up to 720p and 1080i not p so don't buy that one then we have the uh, 1.3 and 1.4 these can go up to 1080p and also 4k but only up to 30 hertz so you won't get 60 frames a second with that with that cable so don't take that one and then we have the uh, premium high speed that's actually just a normal hdmi cable that is 2.0 and then we have version a and b in that and these can go <coughs> to true 4k ultra hd with 60 hertz and if you also want hdr and great sound and everything else you will need to take version a or b b is the the best the fastest Uh, they can also go up to 8k so that's enough for the PlayStation 4 Pro and even the PlayStation 5 but if you want 4k and 120 Hertz then you will need HDMI 2.1 but if you want to use that cable you will also need a TV that supports uh, HDMI 2.0 or it won't work and you will also need a PlayStation 5 because PlayStation 4 will not support that but just buying a cable isn't enough because not all cables um, are doing what they say on the package luckily Linus Tech Tips did a lot of testing with a lot of cables here you can see the manufacturer uh, I don't know these because I don't live in uh, America or Alaska but in Europe but you guys maybe will recognize these brands here you can see the ratings so that's HDMI 2.1 and HDMI 2.0 the length of the cable the price and if the cable passed the test so here you can see everything my cable is not in there from the brand Hama so guys do your research so as you can see this cable right here has some excellent build quality and you will feel that when you plug it into the HDMI port you will feel that it's very snug in there uh, not loose and that is very important to get a good connection because I think that's the reason why you sometimes get black screens because you simply lose the connection or the cable itself cannot handle all of those signals of the PlayStation 5 uh, the hardware that we have now is much more complex we have 4k signals even 8k at 60 frames or even 120 frames a second uh, with excellent 
picture and HDR and uh, high quality sound and it all has to go through this cable right here so this one has very good cables inside and they are all isolated from each other a few times then there's this hard rubber plastic over it and then over that we have this fabric as you can see for some extra protection and also that you don't get any interruption of other signals uh, the downside is it's pretty stiff that's the downside but it's very 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 strong you you can't even push it together it's that strong so maybe you can give it a try by replacing your cable but remember it's pretty expensive to get a good one uh, this one by the way is from the brand Hama I bought three of these cables um, a meter two meter and three meter yeah that's what I bought and I have them now for well since the first video a few years and they still work they work on my PC they work on my TV PlayStation so give that a try so that's everything I wanted to say um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more and you all have a nice day bye